your sign of Aries. My name is Kim and I'm going to do your update reading for the next 48 hours. Uh, we're going to do a tarot spread, Celtic cross and um, the archetype cards first to kind of give us the energy that's going to start the reading out. So yeah, we're going to start with urban tarot. Uh, Aries, let's bring in your angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. Give us messages that it's for Aries next 48 hours. Um, that's for their greater good only. All right, let's get this going for you, Aries. Two archetype cards, please, for the energy. Well, nice. They're both about body parts, pretty much. So, one is the temple, which is the whole body. And then we have the heart. So, you can take this very literal, that somebody may be maybe, I don't know who, somebody around you or yourself might be having heart issues or something going on with the body. Also, this can be a call to realize how powerful, you know, with that triangle, how powerful your uh, body is and the need to take good care of it. So, emphasis on self-care. The heart, it does have a dark side to this card in that Usually in life, we go in and out of periods where we really feel like we're thinking and moving with the intention of our hearts. And then there's times where we feel like it's completely gone, like there is no love. And then those are hard times. And we all go through those. So the body as the temple and the heart. The body as the temple and the heart. So this is a general reading, but you take it as love or career, however you want to take it so urban tarot this is scenes from the city I like this tarot it's just a little too long for my hands <laughs> but other than that it's pretty good I think that's good for Aries Celtic cross, what do we have? All right, first card, the issue. Closure. Closure, endings. Somebody might be transitioning either from one love to another, one career to another, or physically, like from physical plane, 3D to the spirit realm. You could be dealing with a Scorpio too, Aries. Okay, what is a challenge to this death card, this ending? Leo. <laughs> Strength to do it. Strength to do this. So the energy is, is maybe, yeah, just take, take that strength card from Leo and use it to empower you to move forward with this death card here, some kind of closure that is gonna be had, it's gonna be great for you. What is the heart of the matter? So what what is really up with this death card? Pretty much, let's see. Oh, there may be closure of hard times because the four in the um, pentacles is power to this. Insinuating that we may have needed to take our power back so maybe something that we were worried about some something is changing something is transitioning and we're getting out of this really worried state so it's great these are good things coming all right past influence or past energy four of swords this is your angels definitely we have angel numbers everywhere four of swords four of pentacles the Four of Swords in this deck means truce. So it means calling it even. Oh, let me give you the Rider weight too for that. This is also about investing. So I do see it being powerful as though it's building up something that you're trying to start. And that once again, romance or career can be both. So the, the Four of Swords normally means that there needed to be a healing or somebody was sick. Maybe you or somebody else, but needed was the ability to step outside of the conflict and the fighting to get a healing because you're either physically injured inside or emotionally and 
it's like calling a truce. So it's like saying, okay, here, let's not fight for now. So it's not like completely done, but it is calling a truce to the matter. What is the now? The now card. Nice. Aries, we have six of pentacles. It's like, do something for me. I'll do something for you. We've got the guide giving us shoe shine. Success is what they say this card means. So you must be giving a lot of yourself to either a passion project or this, this relationship. There's something that you're really giving your all to. And it's turning out to be great success for you. Balancing the scales. Well, how is the you feeling spot? How are you feeling? Like you're waiting for your ships to come in? Like, like you are a success. You're feeling success. But you just still are waiting for something to come in for you. Maybe past work. This might have to be, I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's like the three means virtue in this deck, a three of wands. It's like doing really great things for other people. And the six shows success as a give and take energy. So external, external influences, you're working really hard. You're working very hard. You've got the eight of pentacles working very hard at something. All right, this is the fears. The fears would be deception or having to deal with either a theft or um, or a self a self illusion, right? A self delusion, something that's just not right. This is your future position or near future. We have communication coming in. So remember, guys, this is just a fear. I don't think it necessarily means it's true or not. I'll get a clarifying card for that seven of swords though. So communication coming in, that's usually good news with the eight. This is your outcome, really nice with communication being underneath the empress, meaning that she always gets success and she's right near the success card. So whether you're planning on having an addition to your family, oh, look at that. On the bottom is the four of cups. In this deck, it means luxury. It's based off the toff or thoff tarot. So you have four, four, four showing up, which is you're on the right path. You're on the right path. Let's see. Yeah, we'll get the Rider weight tarot and we will clarify some of the harder ones. Let's see. Really, none of these are that hard. Let's look at the three of wands though. It's the how are you feeling card. Don't force it. Oh, how are you feeling? Feeling about being done with worrying about money? Feeling like it's time for you to get your success? It's like, here, you need yours. This is time. So Aries, it's really great. This is completely independent and successful like the Empress. She's successful at anything she starts. And then the Seven of Swords as a fear. Let's get that clarified, please, Spirit. We're Aries. All right. All right, the lovers. And it's clearly falling in the reverse position. Okay, so, so there's either um, somebody that was a partner or a Gemini that their decision, like there's some kind of decision that you two are going to have to make together and I think that's a fear that somebody is deceiving you. I think that that's what that card is about in the reverse. So at this point, all I can say is it looks like it's just a fear. So Aries, you're looking good. So we have you on the bottom too, the, the Emperor. Good reading. All right, guys, sending you love and light. Um, join me for your next update. Bye.